hello friends uh, i am satyendra and today in this video lecture i am going to explain you that how to solve this question this question was asked in uh, csir net june 2014 okay and this question is quite important okay and let's see understand how to solve this type of questions so <clears throat> the question was uh, the dispersion relation for electron in an fcc crystal fcc means face centered cubic crystal is given okay so this was that that this was that dispersion relation okay and this dispersion relation was uh, given in the tight binding approximation okay okay <laughs> okay and where a is the lattic constant and this epsilon zero is the constant with the dimension of energy and x the they have asked to find the the x component of the velocity of the electron at this web wave vector okay so this was a question so in order to solve this question you really really you don't need to know much about the tight binding approximation you have to just use some some simple formulas and then you can simply find out this okay so they have already given you the <clears throat> expression for the energy and using this expression you can easily calculate the x component of the velocity of the electron at this wave vector okay so let's try to understand how to solve this type of question so before solving this question you have to know one thing that what is this so this is the wave vector okay so this is the wave vector okay so the wave vector is like kx ky and kz so these are the three uh, the wave vector in the all, all the three directions okay so here for our case if you compare this and this then you will find that the kx is equals to pi upon a whereas ky equals to kz equals to zero by comparing by comparing by comparing this and this okay so this is how so at these values of wave vector we have to find the x component of the velocity of the electron okay so let's proceed further so let's come to the solution to the means to the solution to solve the question okay so so it is you it at this point you have to know that the x component of the velocity of the electron is given by this formula okay so uh, this formula you can all you can either remember or you can create by your own common sense okay so i let me explain you what is this formula this actually this is a very familiar formula you already know so i think let's try to make you explain okay so So you already know that in Einstein's mass energy equivalence relation E equals to mc square. Okay, you already know, that, and this is the c is the speed of light. Okay, but here we are concerned with the electron. Okay, so for electrons we are concerned with electron. Okay, so electron does not move with the velocity of light, but it moves with the velocity less than the speed of light. So let's write that relativistic speed as v okay so it's the formula becomes e equals to mc square now let's put mv and v okay so this can be written like this okay so now now this first quantity is called the momentum so it will become pv okay so e equals to become now pv okay now 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 since it has become pv but in quantum mechanics or in solid state physics also the momentum p is equals to h no it, it, it is equals to h not k where k is the wave vector okay so the above formula so this formula will now become e equals to h not k v okay so now you have this formula okay now 
if you differentiate this uh, whole equation with respect to k then let's see what you will get okay so here since we know that e is the in if it is the dispersion dispersion relation then e is the uh, e is uh, the function of k so let's differentiate this whole equation with respect to k then that will be give that that then that will give you d e just one minute okay so that will give you d e over d k equals to h naught v d k upon d k and that will be equals to h naught v okay so you finally you have to compare this and you have to equate that equals to that okay so on equating these two things you can very easily find that that v is equals to 1 upon h naught d e upon d k okay so here if you want to know only the x component of the velocity okay if you want to know only the x component of the velocity then take only the x component of the wave vector x and here that will be vx okay so that will be your final formula so this is how you get this your this type of equation okay so i hope you have understood but you can remember this also you can remember this equation also for the future so to solve this question which was based on the tight binding approximation you don't need to require the 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 in-depth knowledge of the tight bonding model but you if you remember some uh, few concepts about the solid state physics and the quantum physics then you can easily solve this question okay so let's proceed further okay so here you what you have to do you have to we so in the question the dispersion relation was this okay so we simply have to plug the value of this energy from here into this equation here okay and then you have to differentiate that energy okay so all that thing i have done here i have in this equation i have plugged the values of if i have plugged the value of e and have perform the differentiation okay so after performing the differentiation at this step i have to plug the values of the wave vector which was given in the question okay so i have plugged the values at this point okay and i have solved it further and i got this thing and then i further simplified it and i got the answer which is equals to 4 a epsilon 0 over h naught so this is the answer and these steps these all steps are quite easy and you can easily go through these steps if you have any problem in these steps uh, light write the comments to me and i will solve your problems okay so this was the thing okay